What's going on, Rob from EMTB Forums? I am at Lapierre and High Bikes HQ to see the new bikes. It's the first launch day media day I've ever been invited to, so thank you. Thank you to Lapierre and High Bike. Let's go and check it out. I saw this bike get launched in June, July at Eurobike and um, High Bike pretty much stole the show. They're in the main uh, foyer and they did an amazing presentation and it reminded me a little bit like a tech presentation because it had such an amazing reception and there was so much cool stuff to show off and I got a brief glimpse of it when I was there and managed to speak to a couple of the guys but now I've got really really close to it. bike flan enduro ape which is coming out in you can confirm it will be June next all right so much hype yeah, about man. this bike what what are your thoughts about it what are you excited about tell me a bit about it ultimately this is taking the e-bike the EMTB to the next level this is game changing it genuinely is We've got Richard with us as well today. Now Richard's been dealing with high bike for numerous years now and he'll be able to tell you all about some of the numbers that are attached right. to this because the numbers are what are impressive, not just what it looks like. Yeah. But seriously, this is game changing. Cool. Gen genuinely game changing. So June 2019. June 2019, okay. you'll see these, these should be landing then. That is, there's been lots of rumors around, but yeah. uh, officially we're at the launch event in the end of the day. Officially, we're looking at June for next year when these should be in the dealers. So, um, yeah, loads and loads of hype about this bike. I'm really looking forward to it. I think for me, it, it's it's the first time that High Bike have developed their entire package from the ground up, right? Exactly. So, TQ motor, which is super, super powerful, 120 Correct. 120 newton meters. Yeah. insane but the way it's controlled and the way you know when you're riding it you put your p uh, power through the pedals the power delivery is supposed to be you know really really Absolutely. smooth yeah You've got you, control is the key word right, right there um, I mean with with TQ um, they'll tell you themselves that 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 system that motor system uh, is capable of much much more um, 120 Newton meters is how high bike have chosen to limit that particular system um so it'll do more than that potentially more mm -hmm. absolutely yeah um but the important thing is is that that high bike wanted it to um surpass people's expectations of what an e-bike is um yep it's pretty simple to say oh you know a lot of systems are offering 70 75 newton meters maybe 80 maybe there's a peak of 90 we hear that from from some of the rival brands out there um but for a brand to put that line in the sand and say it's 120 newton meters we promise that not just it might be up to i think it's pretty important mm. Mm. And the styling of it is, I mean, let's, let's go and have a look at it. Thank you for Pleasure. letting us get this close to it. Um, I mean, it looks like, it just looks really, really futuristic, doesn't it? You can see they've taken, like, this looks like it might be on a high-end car. You know, this here yeah. looks like, I don't know, there's something that is a bit familiar to, like, a, I don't know, a, a Mercedes or something like that. The way yeah. it's styled just looks really, really cutting edge. The battery is fully integrated into the down tube here so i'm guessing it kind of slides Absolutely. up yeah. there and then you've got the um the display which uh my understanding is the display depending on the speed that you're doing will adapt That's so it right. will show you it's different dynamic. yeah yeah so the quicker you're going the more the uh features such as speed become bigger in the display so at a glance you can look down and say oh hey i'm doing whatever, 15 miles an hour. You can see that really, really clearly. As you slow down to say walking speed, three, four miles per hour, that speed will uh, shrink back into the display. Yeah. You start to see some more information, things like trip distance, battery, range, all those sort of detailed things that you'd be happy to read at a slower speed when yeah. you've got time to do so. Okay, cool. So it's coming out in June 2019. 
Delivery, um, delivery to the UK. Delivery to the UK. Yes. Yeah. If somebody wants to test one, what 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 can they do? Is it local dealer or test day or Absolutely. what would be the best yeah, thing? Yeah, best thing that anyone can do is register interest with their local dealer. Um, what we'll be doing uh, next spring is we'll have a number of test bikes available. Um, we'll be doing our best to tour the UK and get as many people to. Uh, give as many people a chance to uh, ride the fly on system as possible um, but the vast majority of our dealers love to have their own demo fleet so i'm sure a lot of those guys are going to be uh, getting various fly models into store and that's going to be the best place for you to try a fly on yeah okay cool super excited and I'm, I'm really excited about this it just looks like the next generation of electric bike the way it is so clean that the all the cable is routed through these, and these are um, these are like air vents. Um, Something you pointed out then, Rob, actually, yeah. was the was the chain ring right there um, that looks sort of thinned and very stylized. Um, well, that's kind of intentional. Um, the guys chose to try and mirror the opposite side of the TQ drive there. Okay. So although those fins are very functional, that's for heat dissipation. Um, what they were really trying to do is try and mirror that on both sides of the bike. So, sort of nice design feature. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Spectacle. So the fly-on is a, is a range, right? So it yes. extends from the, uh, tell me about the range, because I know you can get it in an enduro. Um, what else does that fly-on kind of package yeah, right, come in? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a subsection of the Extura range. Yeah. So we sort of, I think most people are familiar with Extura being the extreme side of, uh, of what high bike do. Um, what they chose to do with fly-on was to follow some of the sectors that they'd set out previously. So you can see this model is an Enduro 8, uh, which much like their Bosch and Yamaha bikes means it's a 180 mil travel full suspension bike, a pretty extreme bike. They also do All Mountains, which is their 150 mil travel full suspension bike. They do a couple of models called All Trail, uh, which is in effect a hardtail carbon fiber bike, plus size tires, front suspension fork, um, 140 mil travel I believe um, and then aside from that you can see uh, the model over there is one of the adventure models um, which is pretty unique actually um, not maybe at first glance but with these bikes a high bike are sort of setting their stall out for what an e-bike could be so although it has racks mud guards lights just like a trekking or cross bike it's a 27.5 inch wheeled mountain bike yeah um, where what we're finding is that uh, a lot of people are buying um, an entry-level mountain bike um, but they're not just going mountain biking they want to travel they want to commute to work they want to take luggage they want lights mud guards, all those accessories that make the bike more usable cool thank you so what would you want next year what's your bike what are you going to choose oh, um all mountain all mountain mm. over the zesty or if you, if you can oh hang on hang on it's oh. <laughs> asking me to split between my two favorite brands <laughs> um weirdly enough it's, it's it's keeping me awake at night is it well I, i've been a mountain biker my whole life i love e-bikes yeah. i ride e-bikes do I want the ultimate e-bike or do I want the ultimate mountain bike, which is what the e Zesty is? Mm. I think that's getting to be two distinct things. Yeah, totally, totally. Well, maybe I'll, come back, I'll come back I in, in June both. and see which one you've got. The key, oh, the key is to try them all. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the way to do it. Absolutely. It was definitely, for me, you know, we've spoken earlier on, for me, I think, the EZSD has been designed for exactly what I am and who the type of riding I want to do. So for me, that's what I'll be looking for and that's yeah. why I'm look, really looking forward to riding in the new year as soon as yeah. that lands with us. Yeah. Well, I, I think you've got um, like the market for e-bikes next year. You've got an amazingly diverse mm. selection absolutely. from absolute lightweight um, EZSD right through to touring and trekking bikes, right through to a bit more extreme stuff, higher travel, mm. longer travel. Uh, for more burly stuff, so it's been amazing. I think, needless to say, Model Year 19 is going to be exciting for us. Yeah. Without a doubt. Well, it's going to be really exciting. Great year. So thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. Thanks for inviting no, me. Thanks it's for been coming. Great to have a look thank around. You, and uh, 
I'll just take this one as well with the zest. Of course, yeah? mate, no yeah? problem at all. Cool. Cool. Cheers. <laughs> nice one. Cheers, mate.